Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and I have exciting news. We have an exclusive first look at Oaxis content. We've already looked at the website, which was accidentally leaked when someone forgot to make a bunch of pages private before they were supposed to go public. But today, we are going to look at an Oaxis trailer, as well as a sizzle reel of content that will most likely be on Oaxis. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it and look at the teaser trailer. Hey, show's about to start. Come on, let's go. Alright, I'm coming. <gasps> well, looks like we're playing board games again. Aww. Okay, first of all... First of all, don't you be dunking on board games, Butch Hartman. I will have you know that Catan, Dominion, Magic the Gathering, these are all amazing fun things that are way better produced than, than Oaxis. Okay, but second of all, um, this, this setup doesn't make any amount of sense to me. This might have made sense 15 years ago when most people were watching live TV. If you just click on the TV, you could potentially see something that's maybe a little bit adult, although not that explicit if it's on network television. But anyway, sure, whatever. Today, though, most people stream media, especially if you're someone who specifically wants to watch something and make sure they are not watching other things that may be inappropriate for kids. You are using a streaming service. And if you're using a streaming service, you will never, ever, ever accidentally pop upon one of these horror movie scenes unless you are actively ignorant. Because what happens is, a, you have to select what you are going to watch. You will never accidentally watch a horror movie because everything is separated into genres on all of these streaming services and it should be pretty abundantly clear by the poster that it's a horror movie. And two, the thing that has existed on live TV for a long time, but especially, especially is easy to see on all streaming services is the rating and the content warning. Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, all these services give you a little warning in the upper corner that specifically says if you're going to be seeing nudity or violence or uh, disturbing imagery or whatever, you as the viewer know if you are going to see these things or not. You will never with your family sit down to watch Netflix and then just randomly click on something with your eyes closed and then be offended when you clicked on a horror movie? That doesn't make any sense, Butch. You are a streaming service, right? You want to be a streaming service. You should compete with other streaming services instead of trying to say this is an alternative for television when all of these other streaming services already do that as a bare minimum. Doesn't make any sense. Keep watching. Hi there, I'm Butch Hartman. Ah! I love entertainment. <laughs> And that's why I want to give you the opportunity to help me impact culture. Okay. I'm a family man. Oh, here he goes. Here's the, the speech. World. That's why I love creating high quality family entertainment. Uh-huh. I work with some of the biggest studios in the business. Okay. After creating and producing four animated series, I've just completed a successful 20-year run at Nickelodeon. Well, you know, you haven't just completed that. That was a few years ago. Studio. Hey there, I'm Butch Hartman, the creator of... Yeah, okay, we know who you are. Wasn't this in the original trailer for the Oaxis Kickstarter, or am I wrong there? You know, when I grew up, family entertainment was more the norm. I mean, you really had to look hard to find something that was inappropriate. It seems like today's shows are meant more to shock people than uplift and inspire them. I just recently met an eight-year-old who told me that they'd seen The Exorcist and loved Wait a minute, this is, no, this is just the, this is just the original Oaxis pitch. Um, this is just the original Oaxis pitch, so... That they'd become immune to that sort of thing. The smartphone has become a gateway through which all kinds of questionable influences can enter. As it turns out, me from the past was not wrong. This video, this entire video, is just a slightly altered version of his initial Kickstarter pitch. He changed the first bit to be basically the same idea, but just shot differently for whatever reason. But then all of these clips with Butch talking at us are just straight out of that original trailer. In three years, Butch couldn't even be bothered to actually make a different trailer for the service now that it's allegedly coming soon. It's still the same exact thing with a few pieces edited out and then just a reshot beginning for some reason. 
But the one thing we know from this is that Butch is still pushing out these ideas. He has not moved the goalposts or compromised on his vision at all. He's still promising reality shows and news and gardening videos. He still claims that he's he can do everything that he originally claimed he can do. So he still believes he can make a high quality streaming service. He has not in any way compromised that at all or made any sort of concessions. He still thinks he can do this. So yeah. I think that's interesting. Alright, so the trailer was mostly nothing new. Let's see the sizzle reel. Do you think it's going to be the same exact copyrighted clips that Butch cannot use in his service again? Or is it going to just be recycled new network clips that have been freely available for years before Butch even put up the Oaxis Kickstarter? Or is this going to be a bunch of new, fresh content that actually convinces someone that Oaxis is not just a giant scam? Let's see. Okay, so this big blue book thing, this is something that I'm not sure where it comes from. It could genuinely be an original fresh thing that Butch produced for Oaxis, or that someone else produced and Butch purchased to use on Oaxis. Next up is this game show Sofa Spuds, which I believe is the same one that we saw behind the scenes photos of on Facebook years and years ago in like 2018. This clip, I don't know where it comes from, it could be Butch's YouTube channel, or it could be something original, or it could be from Noog Network. These two clips back to back are from the Noog Network original shows Scarlet and Out There. This is the Noogs themselves hanging out with Jerry Trainer, which is a video that's already existed on the YouTube channel. I don't know what this question time comes from, this could be something new. This is Imaginathan, or at least this is what Imaginathan has turned into. This is the other live action Noog Network show, Zack 2.0. This is more Noogs. Uh, this is some other pilot. I'm not quite sure that what this one is. These two people uh, produce Noog Network content. I'm not sure what their names are or if this particular video was already on Noog Network, but they've produced other Noog Network stuff. There's more Noogs, Noog Dude. This is Dino High, yet another pilot featured on the Noog Network made by Butch Hartman and for free on YouTube until Butch took them all down from YouTube. More Noogs and then that game show yet again. So of all that stuff, there's maybe three things in there that aren't from the Noog Network, or at least I don't think are from the Noog Network. You have this really low-budget looking game show. Uh, you have this question time talk show looking thing. And you have the big blue book, which actually does look like a kid's show proper. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's about it. For the most part, it's just stuff that's been produced a long time ago for the Noog Network, Butch's other failed streaming service that was available for free on YouTube and now is all gone so that I guess that they can put this up on Oaxis. Uh, it seems to confirm that Oaxis is going to feature heavily Noog Network recycled content. Will there be other stuff, new, fresh, interesting stuff? Possibly, but after three years, Butch still doesn't really have much of anything to show off here, other than these very scant clips that don't really tell us anything about the quality of these shows, other than the fact that most of them are just things produced for Noog Network already. So you might be wondering, where did I get these trailers from? Well, as it turns out, a Twitter user named Alex M at Mr. Fancy Scarf has found Butch's private Oaxis Facebook group. It is a Facebook group that you have to answer questions to gain access to, uh, where Butch has posted these two trailers and has been getting people still hyped up for Oaxis. And Alex writes for Alfredly, which is an animation channel in Espanol. And I would have ended the video there, but as always, I did a little bit of digging because I find Butch just to be an interesting person and I really want to know what he thinks about all of this. I've looked into live streams in the past, and he's given really indirect answers to how he feels about online harassment or whatever, but I found something on his podcast, Mad Hustle, based on his book where he tries to help you achieve your dreams, um, in which he talks pretty directly about flack he's gotten online, and this is what he thinks about it. There are some people out there who do horrible things, and horrible things are said about them. Right. Now, that's one situation, but I'm talking about the person that's out there trying really hard. Oh, my Star Trek sound effects are on. I'm talking about the, the person that's out there that's really trying hard to make a, a, a go of it, that's really got a sincere belief that they can do something cool, they're working really hard, and then people start attacking them online. 
for no reason. Right. Now, I've been attacked online for no reason. Right. And and when it happens, you're like, wow, okay, let me examine myself. Maybe something did happen here. And then I start looking at it, and you're like, I don't know these people are upset about. What did I do? And then you start second-guessing yourself, like you right. said. And then you can start putting yourself in a prison because you believe – well, maybe I, you start to think you're crazy. Like maybe I did do something wrong. And then you realize I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't right. say anything wrong. Right. But people can misinterpret it or they can. I remember I remember the time they were pulling like things out of context from my YouTube channel. They were pulling things out of context and making their own videos out of them. And the saddest part about that is these people will work, do all this work. They'll spend so much time editing videos, taking my videos, re re-editing them, making them sound the way they want them to, and they make about five dollars on YouTube for doing that. I know. And they'll spend hours and hours, and they'll get a couple hundred thousand followers or, or, or you know views because they'll use my name, right? The name that I've worked thirty years to build. They'll use my name to get their hundred thousand views or whatever, and they make eleven dollars on YouTube in the process, or maybe it's fifty dollars, and they feel like they've really accomplished something. But in reality. When you tear somebody down, whether it's me or somebody else, when you're tearing people down, you are going to reap what you sow. Well, that's going to come back. That to is you. for sure. And that's what we don't want you guys doing. That. I know I know the mad hustlers out there would never do that. No, that's no not way. who they are. No way, Jose. But if you do know of anybody that does get, you know, does unfortunately falls prey to these um, predators out there that are want to come and uh, destroy you, then you can help them out. Negative, angry people. Yeah. Ooh, so there's a lot to unpack in there. Um, yeah, so I like that first Butch puts himself in a different league than people doing actually awful things, right? I would designate someone who takes money under false pretenses and then greatly exaggerates their abilities to take this money uh, and then doesn't inform those people who he's taken money from really what's going on with that project. I would say that that's a bad thing. I would say that uh, contracting someone to work on projects for you and make animations for you and then not paying them is a bad thing. I would say that someone who traces art and charges a lot of money for it is doing a bad thing. Maybe not the worst thing in the world, Butch, but I would say that these are pretty bad things. You say that it's justified if people get hate online if they've done something wrong. You've done things that are less than perfect. You've made mistakes, and that's okay, but what a normal person does is they own up and admit to all those things. Meanwhile, you're putting yourself in a camp where you are point blank saying, whenever anyone has criticized you in the past, all of these controversies, you've looked yourself in the mirror, said, hmm, maybe I've done something wrong here, and then said, nah, never, and that's it. So we're not allowed to call out Butch on his bad behavior, but of course he, he can claim that we are just trying to destroy him for no reason at all. No one's had any reason to come after Butch in the past. <sighs> it, it really does just kind of say a lot that this is where his headspace is. He has had so much privilege in his life that he, honest to God, believes he cannot make a mistake. And anytime anyone's called him out, we're the haters. We're wrong. Don't get me wrong, I, I get it, man. I've made a bunch of YouTube videos. I have used his name and I have made money. A little more than he thinks I have, but I have made money off of this. But the truth of the matter is, this is an interesting subject merely because Butch refuses to ever take any amount of responsibility. If the dude just tweeted out, hey, you know, I've dropped the ball on Oaxis, I, I should have let you guys know that, that I don't have the experience to make a streaming service, and I, I overpromised, and I'm, I'm really sorry. If you say something like that, okay, maybe not all sins are forgiven, but it would definitely, definitely put a lot of goodwill in your corner. The only reason I'm even still making videos is because I just find you interesting as a person, and I find this whole project just laughable that you've sunk all of this cost into this this thing that, that seemingly is just not ever meant to be, and yet you're adamant on continuing it while still holding yourself up and, and shielding yourself from any amount of criticism. What do you guys think? Have I harped on this too much? Have I have I been mean to Butch Hartman? Uh, should I stop making these videos? I'll I'll leave it up to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Pie Guy Rules out.